So we're going to use the Bone Setter app and give you a little primer on how this works. Uh, there's a couple parts of the app. There's some tools up here. Uh, this is where you find your items that you have. These are some case tools that you need, like a blade plate, screws, and an angle guide. You can put notes down here. Your x-ray or canvas is here, and you can move your x-ray around. Just move it over a little bit. Uh, you can see this little ball on the top. Every item, when you click on it, gets a ball. You can rotate it with that. Fine movements can be done down here with these small movement uh, buttons and you can lock an x-ray or a tool by coming up here and pushing the lock tool and so now this won't move you can unlock it and now it'll move lock again so a couple of things that you're going to be doing in this lab are uh, making an angle so you're going to need to measure the neck shaft angle so if you come up here and push angle uh, you can draw a line by making two clicks just like a cob angle uh, and then when you see these balls, you can move them up and down and you can see what the neck shaft angle is on the broken side. And then you can do the same on the normal side. Just like that. And again, you can move it and it should be about 30 degrees difference, about 140 on this side and about 110 on that side. And then when you want to get rid of angles, you can do this. Just click on the ball and the X comes up. Now what if you made a mistake? Anything that you made a mistake about, you can come to this undo tool. So you can go back a whole bunch of steps and you can see how you can go right to the beginning and you can go forward as well if you made any uh, mistakes. So the next thing we're going to show you how to do is to blow up the screen a little bit and that's with the magnify tool. You can focus in on an area and then to go back it's the cross tool over here. So again, focus on the screen just like that. And you can see the uh, fractured side. Now we're going to do a trace. And we can trace out the fracture here. And it's just by clicking on little points. Or you can do a drag with your pencil like this. And then what you want to do is you want to come back to where you started and it'll make a trace of the bone that we're working with. There you go. And this trace again, you can move it and we can uh, click back and go back to the main screen. You can see it here. Now, if we want to compare it to the normal side, we just have to click on the x-ray, see the ball comes up again and then go to this flip tool and that'll flip it over. So now that the normal side, let's take it off lock, the normal side can be compared to the broken side. Now, one of the things that we have to remind you about is, is the fracture is at the neck. So the greater trochanter, lesser trochanter, and the shaft is identical, there's no deformity. And if we line up the greater trochanter with, uh, on both of these, uh, the right and left side, then uh, we know that we can actually measure the broken side. So uh, again, lock the x-ray and we've got the our fractured trace right here. So another tool that we're going to do is we're, we're going to draw a line and a line can be made over here. And say we're going to do the osteotomy right there and you'll learn this from Brett uh, when you, he goes through the whole lab uh, there's a bunch of other measurements that uh, he's going to tell you about and how he gets to this point. Um, and then if we want to make an osteotomy of this piece, we're going to click on it. See the ball comes up. We're going to come up here to the scissors and then we can make a mark across the line. Then you just have to encircle the part that you want to make the osteotomy about. And now it's two pieces. Now let's go to the magnify tool. There we go. And now for this piece, the one that we just made uh, into two pieces, we can rotate it and it rate rotates it around the center. But we've added a tool and this is called the center of rotation tool. And you see it's down here by pushing on this bottom left corner, it'll come up and it's like a little, uh, a little plus sign. And you can move this around. And what that allows you to do is change the center of rotation. So you can move it to this spot and this will get you to do a closing wedge 
and you can move it to this spot and they can get you to do an opening wedge. You can even move it to the middle and we can do again a closing or opening wedge. So we knew uh, in the lab from the lab that there was a 30 degree difference. Uh, so thirty. We'll that's what Brett's got you doing in this lab. So about 30 degrees and we're just going to slide it along a little bit so that uh, we get to so the two heads uh, match up and we know this is about where we're going to make our osteotomy so uh, we can actually cut out the piece of the osteotomy to pick the bottom part here and come up and take the scissors and we can actually cut out this piece here and now we can move the, remove the wedge and this wedge will have a measurement that you can measure the sides and we can come over here and get a blade plate and then put it in and the blade plate let's let's go back to real size here and the blade plates gonna sit basically parallel to your osteotomy because it's a 120 degree blade plate you made a 30 degree osteotomy and we put it in about 90 degrees parallel to the to the position that the hip was in and this allows you to make a 30 degree uh, position change and uh, we'll talk about that in the lab and how you get there so once you understand all these things, you can also do a couple of other things. Uh, with the, uh, with the uh, uh, go back tool, you can actually go back to all your points or go forward and they'll be remembered for your, uh, for your lab. So I think those are the, pretty much all the tools you need to know uh, for this lab and uh, that gets you prepared. Now pay attention during the lab because there's a lot of other things that are going to go they're going to go over on how to actually get this osteotomy done on the on a real patient